Let's get back to the lines. Uh, we've got Alistair, a Brighton fan, fresh after uh, that loss to Arsenal. Uh, what was your thoughts about the penalty decision, Alistair? And do you think that was divisive? Um, I, I mean, I think it was a blatant penalty. Um, I was surrounded by fans that were accusing the whole Premier League of being rigged. Um, but it was just obvious that Lampsy completely took out his Jesus' legs. Like, got the tiniest touch on the ball... Um, but then wiped him out. So, obvious penalty. Um, I wouldn't say it was decisive. I think we were still in it up until the second goal, really. Um, yeah. And then heads just went down. But, I mean, it, it's, it's hard to argue Brighton's case. Like, Arsenal were the better team. There's a reason they're in the title race. Um, and we just had nothing. Up. Are you still there, Alistair? I think I might have lost you. Oh, can you hear me? No, got you back there, yeah. I was just going to ask you, um, uh, obviously, De Zerbi's been linked to uh, Liverpool and a few other clubs. Uh, I know Brighton fans are very, very happy with him. But this season, um, I, I was funny, I was talking about this earlier, about if you look at the last three or four years, I know Brighton are always seen as a small club boxing above their weight. But if you look at the last three or four years, you could make a case that Brighton over the last three or four years have been better than Manchester United, they've been better than Spurs. They've been better than Chelsea in what they've been doing. Yeah. I, I do think Brighton are lower than where they should be this year. I know they've had injury problems, but so on, so is everyone else. I was I was disappointed with them in the Europa League. What what do you put that down to, Brighton, this year? Um, or, or do you disagree with that? Do you think, you know, actually you are where you should be? No, I, I mean, I, I feel like we should be a little bit higher. Um, I... I, I feel like there's two things. I mean, I don't blame either De Zerbe or, or Tony Bloom, but I feel like a little bit more um, recruitment of proven Premier League players in the summer could have really helped us. Um, but then obviously we can't predict the amount of first team injuries we've had. Um, and I think a lot of issues have stemmed from our goalkeeper rotation as well. Um, I mean, up until what, like a m month ago, we didn't have a set number one keeper. Um, yeah. And I think that's hindered our defence a little bit. I mean, it's shown in some of the games, like 4-0 Luton, 6-1 Villa. I think Everton, we had a big defeat against. Um, as well, yeah. And I think that stems, yeah, from not having like a, a set core of defensive players, um, none of which have been injured. They've just been rotated in and out constantly. Um, I mean, I'm not blaming De Zerbe. I don't want him to go. I think he's been fantastic for us. Um, I would just question maybe some of those decisions. Great call, Alistair. Thank you very much for that. And thanks for your honesty on the penalty. We've also got Dom, who's an Arsenal fan. Uh, you might have heard Dom that, that Alistair said as a Brighton fan, he thought it was a penalty anyway. Uh, what were your thoughts on Arsenal today and that penalty incident? Yeah, hello. Uh, Mr. Mr. Goldbridge, I can't believe from you, because you're probably out of all the pundits, you're one of the fair ones, being a Man United fan, but you're always... You always uh, You've got all your screens in front and you normally see it, say it as you see it. And uh, I can't believe you're even questioning it. it, it fair play to that Brighton uh, fan, because he's being honest. But if you look at the angle, when Jesus does a brilliant bit of skill, he flicks it up past him. He, he only just touches it and he completely wipes him out. So I don't mm. know why there's even a debate. It seems like when it's Arsenal, it, instead of just saying, what a performance, 3 nil away, why is there even a question about the penny, let alone that before that, we could have been 3 new up. So we, we, we missed, Kyle Saka missed the chance, Jesus missed the nether. You must have seen it. The first 20 minutes, they quite had about 10 minutes, but Arsenal had the best chances of the game. So I, I don't understand why there's a big debate about the penny when it was a blatant penny. Yeah, no, no. I, I watched the game and I thought that, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the Arsenal were just, they just blew Brighton away. And um, I want to ask you about the title as well. But I think on the penalty, what I would say is when I saw it in real time, I thought it was a penalty. Then when I saw it again and saw him get a clip on the ball, I think that's when everyone sort of went into confused mode because he's got the ball. And then my final point on it was that he has got a bit of the ball, but Jesus would be going past him. And he's deprived Jesus the chance of going past him because he's took him out. Exactly. So that exactly. that cancels yeah. out the ball. So I think I think I think it was a look. We've had Wolves fans on. I agree. I thought Man City should have given a penalty away, and I think we've got every right to put our hands in the air and say the refereeing's a disgrace. But sometimes they get it right, and I think on the Arsenal one, it took a bit bit of thinking, but I, I actually do think that the decision was right in the sense that. Yeah. 
Jesus would have been in, and that cancels out Lamptey's little flick on the ball. Um, but what, what's your thoughts on the title? Because that's a good result today, but you've got the harder run in. I was looking at it. You've got to go to Spurs. You've got to go to Wolves. You've got to go to United. You've got Chelsea and Villa at home. You're going to have to win every game, I think, to win the league. Yeah. Um, do you know what? It was the same. Obviously, last season, we, we got the injuries and, and it definitely played a part. But if you look at the, the them teams last year, we beat all them teams on the way. So, yeah, we can do it. The only thing I'll say is, it's easy saying that Arsenal got to win every game. I, I could see Man City win every game, but why, why, why is it people saying that Liverpool, how do you know, like tomorrow, Goldbridge, come on, mate, we need you. You never know. United, oh, you was down and out the other night, but United will turn up tomorrow, regardless of the injuries, at the fact they'll turn up. There's not a guarantee that Liverpool are going to go there and win. And if you look at some of the results, this is why I feel like Arsenal should get more credit. Like, we won 6 0 at West Ham. Go and look at the other team's results when they went to West Ham. They struggled. It was only just about nicked it, or I think one of them, I think City drew there. We won 6 0 at Burnley. We won, sorry, 5 0 at Burnley. We won 6 0 at Sheffield United. Liverpool only scored 89th minute, 2 0 at Sheffield United. Um, there's, there's, a, there's about another three or four games where Arsenal have absolutely not only wiped the floor, but they've also, if you look at it, we've won the 11, we've won the 11 straight, uh, 11 games and one draw. We've conceded four goals in that time. And all them teams that we've played, have either, uh, Liverpool at home, have one shot on target. Man City home and away, one shot on target. I think we deserve more credit. I I'm not saying that we're going to win it because we've got the harder running, but that some of these pundits, not you because you're fair, but some of these pundits always have to throw up something. Just give Arsenal a bit of credit and think, you know what? They're going to places. When Man City go to Brighton, I bet they don't go there and win 3-0. I bet, I bet they're all over the place at times. They might win, but Arsenal are doing it with ease. Like They deserve more credit. So I think, I think we can do it, but we've got the harder games. And whatever happens, I'm just proud of this team, how far they've come. And we've just got to keep plugging away. And you, you never know. You never know. Yeah. Tom, uh, sorry, not Tom, Dom, great call. Really appreciate that. Very passionate. And uh, I agree with you. Uh, big, big, big uh, few games for Arsenal. And they are very impressive defensively. And I think since Christmas, they they have been the best team in the title race. But the next few weeks are going to be very telling and they have got the harder running. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.